Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to take a look at BitMEX. BitMEX was once um, the leading crypto derivatives exchange in the world. However, that changed a bit now. Binance is very good and has a lot of volume and some others as well. However, if you still look at open interest, which is really important because it provides you liquidity if you trade there, and BitMEX is still one of the leading platforms globally. And a lot of things happened during the last few months. That's mainly because BitMEX has a new leadership. It's run now by a German CEO who worked before that as a CEO for a German stock exchange called Stuttgarter Börse. And after that, he joined BitMEX and now he's um, changing a lot of things and doing a lot of new stuff, um, which didn't happen in the last few years on BitMEX. Um, the first thing that really changed with BitMEX is you can't um, trade contracts um, just against BTC anymore. You can trade them either against BTC or USDT, which is a stable coin um, based on the value of the dollar. Um, so that's very convenient and you can, of course, exchange these cryptocurrencies on the platform. We will take a look at that in a bit. And then there are some other things they added. There's an earn program there where you can get interest on your cryptocurrencies. And, and they added a lot of new coins and we will look at that as well. And first of all, if you don't have a BitMEX account, I put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up. And if you use that link, you will save 10% on fees. And when you sign up, you also need to do a KYC process. Um, so you need to upload a passport or photo ID of yourself um, in order to verify your identity. So let's get started. So first of all, in order to trade on BitMEX, you need to have some money on the platform. So the easiest way to do it is either you deposit cryptocurrencies there, and the way to do that would be you go to wallet here, and then you just click deposit and then you can either deposit Bitcoin. Bitcoin is called XBT here on BitMEX and not BTC um, for whatever reason. And then you could also deposit USDT here, um, which is um, USDT based on the Ethereum network. So if you withdraw it from some other cryptocurrency exchange, make sure um, that it's USDT based on the Ethereum network, so an ERC20 token. And that's basically it. So all you have to do is just copy the address and send some Bitcoins um, to that address or USDT. Or what you can also do is you can buy cryptocurrencies now directly on BitMEX. And the way to do that is you just go to buy and then you select your currency like euros and then you enter the amount you want to have and then you can select either if you want to buy bitcoin or usdt so let's buy bitcoin here and then you can select here um, that's a bit more expensive and they charge you it really depends on your credit card and if your credit card company charges something however um, it can end up uh, to the fees can end up to 4% or something. So be careful with that. And the cheaper way would be to send some crypto directly to BitMEX. So that's basically it. Once you have money on your account, you can start trading. So that's basically the trading interface here. You have the chart, then you have the order book with all the sell orders and all the buy orders. Um, you have a depth chart here, so you can see in red the sell orders and in green the buy orders and how they fluctuate. And you can see the recent trades here. So first thing we need to do is we need to select the contract we want to trade. So let's trade Bitcoin. And there you can select if you want to trade Bitcoin against BTC or against USDT as a base currency. So meaning if you are selecting XBT here or USDT. Um, XBT meaning you basically, when you have a successful trade and you make some money, um, you are increasing your stack of Bitcoins on the exchange. 
and if you trade against USDT, then you are basically um, increasing with a successful trade your USDT amount on BitMEX. So it doesn't really matter in the end. It really depends if you are bullish on, cri on crypto and Bitcoin. It actually makes sense to trade um, against XBT, against Bitcoin, because then you get more Bitcoin and when you believe the price will go up in the long term and then it makes sense to store um, the money you have on BitMEX in Bitcoin. However, if you don't believe in Bitcoin and you think that will go to zero, it makes sense to do to trade um, against USDT because um, then you are just increasing your USDT amount. So let's have a look at the Bitcoin Perpetual here. As you can see, there are a lot of contracts you can trade and um, a lot of tokens, um, XRP, Litecoin, Polkadot, um, EOS and so on, Solana. And you can find them here and you can also search for them. However, not every contract is traded against Bitcoin and USDT. So you sometimes a contract is only traded against Bitcoin. Then there are two types of futures that you are trading. First of all, that are perpetual futures. So that are basically future contracts um, that don't have an ending date. So you can basically leave your position open forever um, without um, having to close them at one point. However, you will have to pay funding for that. I will explain that in a bit. And then there are futures with an ending date. So that basically means um, you can enter a position here and leaves an open until the ending date and then the position will be closed automatically. Of course, you can close the position um, as well manually before that. So you can close the position at any time you want. The advantage of futures is with a ending date and that you don't pay funding. So sometimes it's cheaper to stay in a position and with futures and then with perpetuals, because with perpetuals you are paying every eight hours or so funding. It depends a bit on the exchange. So let's look at the perpetuals because that are the most traded ones. Let's look at Bitcoin here and then you can just select how much you want to trade. Okay, you want to trade maybe a thousand USD here. And then you can either set a limit price or a market price. So a limit order or market order. Market order is basically you can say, okay, I want to open a position, which would be and go long, which would be buy market, or I want to go short and sell market. And then a BitMEX would automatically open a position for you to the best price available in the order book. And with the limit order, you can actually say, okay, I want to open a position and go long if the price of Bitcoin drops to, I don't know, 40,000 maybe. And then you can say buy long and then it would automatically open the position here. And you could see that under active orders because the position wouldn't be open until the price dropped to 40K. However, if the price never drops to that level, the position would stay open forever. Um, however, you can close it at any time. So that's basically the difference between market and limit order. And once you have an order, you can just go to positions here and then you can either market close or limit close and the position at any time and you can see your PNL here. So that's basically it. One thing we didn't talk about is leverage. So you can set a leverage. So let's say you have 1000 USD in your account and with a 10x leverage, you could trade Bitcoin worth uh, 10,000 USD. However, I can't recommend trading more than 2x leverage. And you can also select cross here. Cross basically means if you have several positions, it will um, balance the leverage between all the positions. So if you get liquidated, all your positions would get liquidated. Um, it's different if you set a fixed leverage, then only 
the position with the fixed leverage would get liquidated. However, you aren't that flexible anymore. Um, so make sure you understand the difference between cross and a fixed leverage and make sure you are not using too much of a leverage. And then, as I said, we already talked about funding. And um, funding is basically a way to balance um, between shorts and longs. So if a lot of people are long, that means you need to incentivize um, short sellers. So in order to do that, um, there's something that's called funding. So if a lot of people are long, the funding would be positive. And if you are in a short position, you would actually get money. And if the funding is negative, which the predicted funding rate is, that would basically mean a lot of people are short and you would get money um, when you are long. So funding is paid every eight hours and you can see right now it's very low. However, sometimes it's um, at 0.1% or 0.01%. So you really have to check and it depends how long you stay in a position, how much funding you are paying. However, if you only stay, so next funding here is in six hours. If I would open a position now and would close it in five hours, I wouldn't pay any funding. So the only thing I would need to pay um, is the fees to open or close a position. So that's basically it for trading on BitMEX. One thing we can look at as well is um, the fees. So we will have a look at the fees here. And there's a difference between maker and taker fee. So maker fee is basically a limit order because you are providing liquidity to the platform. So you are making a market and that's why the maker fee here is negative for most contracts. That basically means when you open a limit position that doesn't get filled immediately, you get money. And when you open a market order, which gets filled immediately, um, then you pay the taker fee. And as you can see, the taker fee here is 0.05%. And you can see funding here is paid every eight hours. And here you can see the current funding rate. And if the funding is negative, you would actually get money. Um, when you are long, if it's positive, you would pay that funding if you are long. And if you are you are short and negative means basically you are paying the funding. So that's it. One thing we didn't talk about yet is BitMEX Earn. It's basically an easy way to earn some interest on your USDT. Sometimes they also have that for Bitcoin. However, the amount you can stake there is usually very low. So for Bitcoin right now, it's um, 0.1 Bitcoin and you can earn up to 4% interest per year. And here for USDT, it's um, up to 10% per year. However, it doesn't run for a whole year. Um, it only runs for, you can see that here, end of March. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have a BitMEX account, feel free to use the link to sign up and save 10% on fees. Thanks for watching.